Uh, so today was a very long day and, uh, and we had to like, <laughs> like do some finagling today, man. I mean, today, woo. you know what? I, I I'm 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 thinking I'm I'm really digging my choice in 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 the companies that I chose to drive for, man. I mean, I'm not going to keep bragging about this company. I'm I'm really not because by me keep bragging about this company, you know, I know you guys are going to be like, "Yo, lockout, man. You you over here contradicting yourself." You you say you're not going to promote this company, but yet you're over here talking about this company. Well, listen, listen. It's not about promoting or anything like that. It's just that when you you drove for one company for at some amount of time and you was treated the way I was treated with them, and then you get with a get with a company that you it's like a breath of fresh air or some shit like that. Does that make any kind of sense? I I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. Look, I'm I'm going to tell you guys this much. Again, do not get comfortable with any company that you're going with. You know, don't do that. You know, you got to make sure that the company is good for you as well as that, as well as the, uh, as you is good for that company. You know, you can't tell how the company is going to react to you, you know, by, you know, talking to the recruiters or anything like that. You know, the recruiter's going to tell you, you know, give you the information that you need to know. Some of the recruiters out here pride themselves from not sugarcoating. You know, they'll, they'll tell you just about as, as, as much as good information that they possibly can about the company. You got to understand that the recruiters are salesmen, all right? They're selling you a product, and that product is the company. Now, when you get in that seat and you drive for that company, then that's where you can assess your experience upon that company. Is it good? Is it bad? Is you getting along with the fleet manager? Are you getting your miles? What was the first paycheck that looks like? Is it a company that, and again, that first paycheck probably might come Three weeks later, I know when I started with Wooster Motorways that you had to wait two weeks in a hole, like seriously, two weeks in a hole. So luckily, they gave me my sign-on bonus, bonus, you know, within that first or that following week. So... But when you get with a company, you just got to make sure that that, co- that that you, you know, that that company is good for you. Is you getting in the, is you getting the miles? And, and would you know that if the company is good for you within the first couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of days, couple of years, it might take you six months. You know, the 90-day period, of course, is always the, the 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 KA period, that's what I call it, the KA period. But it's 90 days is enough though. So I would say do the 60. And then you you'll at least get a a broad spectrum of the company. At, just a little bit. A little bit broad spectrum you know so 60 days you feel like okay 
I can finally go and buy some covers for the sheet. I mean, for the mattress. You know, I won't have to. I won't have to sleep in my clothes. And 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 keep all my clothes in my duffel bag and keep all these shelves empty. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be with this company after after a couple of weeks, after a couple of days, after 90 days. But shoot, if you're still with the company after 60 days, then it's pretty good. A year is better. And then, of course, two years down the line. Figure it out that way. But I, man, I tell you, man, I, 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 I shot pictures on my Instagram. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to. Nah, the internet sucks over here. It really does. I, I, I tried to, I, I tried to see if my, my speed test is up to par, and I went on here and I, I went on here and. Did the test and the test was like garbage. Test was like, no, you're not gonna have a good show tonight, lockout. So you're gonna have to call up your guests and have them to come tomorrow because I will be going home, but I won't be home, right? I won't be home, but I'm going home. I say the only thing that I have a hiccup with so far nothing you know nothing i'm i'm getting yo my paychecks is on point the miles is on point uh i what what can i do i mean i i can't ask for much because i'm getting it you know the negotiations between between you and the fleet i mean not the fleet manager but you and the recruiter you know, you have to etch all that in stone and 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 get it in writing. So if you could get everything that you want in this and it's coming to fruition, then it's going good so far. But man, today I got to this one uh receiver in Georgia. I sent the pictures in to my fleet manager. He was like, no, we're not going there no more. Man, go on my Instagram. That's lockout, man. And look at and look at how tight that dock that they call it a dock, but it was a hole in the ground. And I mean, it was like super tight. I think a rookie couldn't even get that. It, and even if a rookie did try to do that doc, I guarantee he'll tear up the trailer. What I say, trailer? He'll tear up the trailer. He he will scuff the whole side of the truck. I'm serious. I only had I only had this much room. That was it. They got me unloaded. They took a long time, but they got me unloaded. Was able to go to the Nets drop off, got unloaded over there. But God damn it, man, Georgia traffic, Atlanta traffic. Don't come down to Atlanta. <laughs> Stay where you at. I, I know a lot of you guys like to come down here and and say, "Yo, I want to get, I, I want to get in, I want to get in, I want to do, I, I want to go to Atlanta, I want to be where it's happening." Man, don't do it. Don't do it. Just saying. All right. Anyway, that's it for, you know, my little adventure today. But uh, we about to get into this commentary. Let's do it. Brian Little. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling today? Of course, you know who I am. I am Lockout Men, and welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. And in tonight's commentary is, of course, come by way of Facebook. I found this post on here that I would like to share with you guys, all right? So this post, we about to jump right into it. So this young lady says, let me ask you this. 
She got a question, y'all. So keep your ears on because I need y'all to answer it in the comments below. All right? Engage. That's what we do over here. We engaging. She says, if you worked for a company that pays a flat rate of $1,500 a week, just need to drive your hours, you have a flat screen TV, Wi-Fi optional with the additional $5. So, you know, they probably might have a Sam Sarah tablet or probably what Verizon, AT&T, and you're able to jack into that Wi-Fi. But it's $5 extra. Think about that. Um, with freezer, microwave, a W-2 with IRA. Ooh, that sounds good so far. So far, so good. And benefits, you know, health, dental, vision. The truck comes with a memory foam mattress supplied with Gatorade every time you leave the terminal. Orange juice and water. They they pack that in there. If if they don't pack it in there, they give it to you. They'd be like, yo, here's your here's your 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 care package, and you're good to go. Each time you leave out of that terminal, they got quarterly safety bonus and everything else. She says, would you complain? If they paid you $100 a day to sit because the truck is down. She just needs some input, y'all. Now, maybe, now, this, what, what is this? Like, like, it's too good to be true company. And you guys know what they say about too good to be true. If it's too good to be true, then nine times out of ten, it isn't. But I don't know. If if all this is put down in writing and signed by the owner or the president or the CEO, and then I come back and sign it, then, yeah, I'll take it. Shit, yeah, $1,500 a week just to, just to drive on, on hourly or just to drive your hours. You know, no CPM, just a flat rate of $1,500. Now, my tax bracket is about $300, so that's $1,200. Let's, you know what? You know what? Make, you know what? For some people, let's, let's break that. Let's, let's break that down. $1,200 times four, because it's a month. That's $4,800 a month times 12. That's 57,600. And this is like an easy job. So if you're coming in, you know, if, if, if I was coming in, if I knew this back in the day coming in, hell yeah, I would have jumped on that. You know, memory foam mattress, microwave, refrigerator. All I have to do is drive. Plus I get an extra $100 a day for... For for sitting in case the truck broke down or detention pay or whatever, whatever. Hell yeah, I, I I would probably jump on that. And if this is a if and you're a new driver, if you're a new driver that's coming in that probably had a, has about a year of experience because I'm sure they're gonna want some experience. Let's break that experience down for a minute before before you guys answer that, right? So plenty of rookies will come into this industry and they they they'll be like, yo, I, I don't like this, I don't like that. You don't have too much of a choice when you coming out here, especially out of school. Now, if you're a rookie and you still got like a year, then yeah, you probably have a little bit of leeway. And maybe getting with this particular company right here, flat weight, IRA, W-2, $1,500 a week. 
my tax bracket, $1,200 net. And $100 a day just in case the truck broke break down or you or you sitting for layover. I wouldn't complain. I, I wouldn't complain at all. And that will probably be something good for you. But listen, listen, though. This company might need a little bit of experience because if this uh if this is like a mom and pop company, then they are obliged by their insurance to bring you on. So they gotta make sure that you are a viable driver in order to be put on their insurance. Insurance for smaller companies dictate who they want to drive the truck. Now, the insurance company could come to them and be like, yo, look, um, we, we don't want no rookie. We don't want no fresh greenhorn out of the school, uh, wet behind the ears driver, because that driver is much more susceptible to get into an accident than a driver that's been driving for about a year, two years. Of course, you know, that's 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 why you can go to the Swifts, to the US Express, to the to the Prime, because they're self-insured. You tear up one of their trucks, it's not a problem. They they got plenty of trucks to, you know, to back up. You you tear up one, they got two other trucks to take that truck spot. Now, for a smaller outfit, an owner-operator, you tear up one of their trucks, number one, their insurance is going to be jacked up, and number two, they're going to be out of commission, depending on how many trucks they have. If they only have, like, two, three, four, I'll say five at the most. If they have, like, five trucks and one of those trucks get torn up, that's going to mess with their money. That's going to mess with their insurance. So maybe a smaller outfit that's offering $1,500 a week, Wi-Fi, IRA, W-2, microwave, refrigerator, and $100 a day to sit, of course they're going to look for a driver that's, that got the experience, that been out over the road for a while. I'm just saying. Not all companies that actually care, that is where. Like $1,500 a week and all you got to do is just drive. You don't have to worry about the hours. Just run to 70 and you're good. You got an automatic $1,500. You got $100 just to lay over or whatever. That's rare. That is rare. And again, like I said, it's a too good to be true type deal, but it probably is. But you also got to, you you also probably got to look and read between the lines, though. All right? Got to read between the lines. So, guys, let me know in the comments below, would you do, uh, would, would you take this job? Would you complain? Would this, would, would, if you was coming out of high, uh, high school, if you was coming out of trucking school and you had at least about a year and somebody came and offered you, uh, offered you this opportunity right here, would you jump on it? Come on now. I don't know about the Gatorade. It, it got to be probably T. So I need to know, I, I need to know what company this is though. I need to know that. What's the name of the company, yo? What's the name of the company? Because if a company is offering $1,500 gross, about 1,200 net, it's not a bad company. I mean, you still making 50 cents, you still making 57 cents a year, right? So, 
I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below, man. All right, that's going to do it. That is going to do it. I'm about to run. I'm over here at the Petro in Georgia. About to get home. I'm about 12 hours away with 11 hours. Well, not even 11. I'm going to say 10. Because, of course, you got to use 15 minutes for the pre, 15 minutes for the you know, 15 minutes for whatever, whatever. You got to take that 30 to go and wash up. And then you got to get on the clock. So I'm going to say 10. So it's going to take me about 10 hours to get down, back down to Ohio. I got two hours left over. So, of course, I'm got to take my 10 again and then get back up and, and roll out and get to the house. So... Tomorrow, I hope to have uh, some good data, and we can uh, and we can chop it up with our guests. All right, again, that's gonna do it, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. Make sure you hit that like button. Yo, if you want to come on the show, by all means. Hit me up in the DM. That's Lockout Men. If you have anything that you want to promote or anything like that, again, hit me up in the DM. That's Lockout Men. Or the Gmail. That is Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. Yo, come on over here. Let's have a good time. I really do appreciate all you guys that support the channel. Uh, speaking of support on the channel, I got to give some channel member shout outs. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got to give some shout outs. See, that's what I'm saying. My, it, it's, the data is so slow over here. All right. All right. So shout out to the channel members, man. Shout out to Br uh, Brad lawhorn thank you very much bro he joined dallas mechanic my g what's going on habana what's up what's up uh i can't pronounce your name shiora jackson thank you very much i appreciate it resto the puerto rico puerto rican driver still in effect my man DJ Kurt Nice, he's in effect. Thank you very much. Johnny on the flip side. Thank you, bro. I really do appreciate it. My girl trucking with Kersey. Thank you, thank you. Keeping it 100. Yo, me and her got to get back together do, uh, too because she hasn't been driving as of late. William Zander in the building. Thank you, thank you. The game is rigged. So hooking a brother up with some coffee. Thank you. Uh, lashes and lip gloss. Where you been hiding at, girl? Where you at? Where you at? Ladybug. Yo, we got to do a follow-up, Miss Ladybug. My girl, as always, Shape World 15. Thank you, thank you. My G, Bees Knees Trucking Show. Make sure you guys subscribe to him, all right? And my girl, Mocha. DMG. Thank you guys for being a channel member. I really do appreciate it. Yo, you guys make sure I stay, I stay refreshed because I'm always parched. Anybody want to join the channel? You can do so uh, by joining the channel and get that channel shout out. Also, for the guys that's suggesting the cause, that could be easy as well. So you get your cause suggested. Get a shout out and have uh to get a shout out. Make sure you hit me up in the Cash App. Uh, the Cash App information is in the description below. Guys, take it easy, and I will come back at you with another one. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>